Welcome to this tutorial on linking our data points in Tableau to a video hosted on the web. In this example, I will be using data from Okta to link to a video of a football match that I've hosted on YouTube. I chose YouTube as currently a lot of the sports specific video hosting platforms are based upon YouTube. So let's get started. First of all, from within Tableau, we need to connect to our data source. Here I have an example database containing all the match data, all the event data, processed by Okta. First of all, I'm going to drop my X and Y coordinates onto the columns and rows shelf. As you can see, I will then change them to dimensions. This then, as we see, provides us with all the locations of all the events that occurred during this match. The first thing I'm going to do is add a background map. We do this by going to Map, Background Images, selecting our data source, example DB Extract in this case, and add in image. We then browse for our image. We then select our X field and our Y field, which in the case of this data is actually the X field is Y and the Y field is X. We then need to set the left and right and the bottom of and top axes. This will be 0 and 1 for both. This represents the maximum extent of the data as defined by the coordinates within Opta's database. Click OK and OK again. And you'll see our pitch will appear. Now I'm just going to switch the Y and the X fields so that our pitch is now landscape instead of portrait. Next, I'm also going to add a filter to only include the first 10 minutes of the match. This is because the video that I've currently uploaded to YouTube only has 10 minutes worth of footage. Next thing I'm going to do is actually put the shot field onto the colour marks. In this case, change it to discrete measure and where there's a 1 indicates a shot. As we can see, these are represented by the orange circles as opposed to the blue circles which represent every other event during those first 10 minutes. I'm then going to remove the headers from the Y and X axes. Next, I'm going to drop event ID onto detail just in case there were two events in the exact same location. I'm also going to create a new parameter so I'm going to right click within the data window, create parameter, and I'm going to call this seconds prior. This parameter will enable us to choose how many seconds prior to the event we want to view the video. The range of value is going to be minus 120, so that's 120 seconds prior to the event, right up to zero, which will be the moment of the event. And I'm going to set the current value to minus five. Next, I'm going to create a new calculated field by right clicking on minute and create calculated field and I'm going to call this match seconds. This is going to be a simple calculated field of minute times 60 plus a second. This will give you the time of the event in seconds as opposed to minutes and seconds. I'm also going to create a new calculated field called video seconds which is match seconds plus seconds prior. Because seconds prior is a negative value this will actually subtract the number of seconds chosen in the parameter from the match seconds giving us the time in seconds that we wish to view the video. For us to use this field of video seconds within our URL action that we will discuss in a moment it needs to be within the view. So I'm simply going to drop it onto the detail and change it to a dimension. Next I'm going to create a new dashboard. I'm going to drop our sheet that we've just created which is still called sheet 1 onto the new dashboard. I'm also going to remove the colour legend just for this example and hide the title. Next, we need to add a dashboard action. For this, I go to the dashboard menu and select action. I then want to add a new URL action. 
and I'm going to rename this View Video. I then need to paste the link to my video into this URL section. And in the instance of YouTube, I need a hashtag and t equals to define the parameter of time. And then using this little arrow on the right, I can then choose which field I wish to define the seconds of the video. In this case, video seconds. And then just add a little s at the end. That URL defines the video within YouTube that I wish to link to, along with the seconds that I wish the video to start from. Now what I want to do is view that video within my Tableau dashboard. So I'm going to drop on a web page onto my dashboard, and here I could give it any URL I wanted. I am going to start with just youtube.co.uk. You'll see that YouTube will load. Now when I come down to any mark, select the mark, within the menu option I will see view video. I can select this and it will load within the web page above and jump to the correct amount of seconds. Now just to give this a bit of customization, I'm actually going to display the parameter of seconds prior. I can then define how many seconds prior to the event I wish this video to start from. I'm now going to select 13 seconds. Now you'll see when I click on this same mark and view video, it has started from 13 seconds prior to that event as opposed to 5. Thank you for watching.